What is a celebrity? A trademark? A set of images? Or a real person? We spent hours and hours of waiting for that one shot to make it all worth it. We all knew about these two girls, but this night, no one was thinking about them. It was the perfect tabloid story. No one wanted to miss it. They really thought that she was uh, Blake Lively. So that was a success. I mean, hell, he got the best of us. And that ain't easy, I tell you, man. What is fake? When something becomes news, does it also become real? This film is about two Swedish girls and their unusual way of posing those questions. They travel to some of the biggest festivals and gala shows around the world and sneak into exclusive parties, film premieres, even VIP sessions. Their hopes are to make the paparazzis believe that they are someone famous. However, they are not rich and famous so everything rides on what they can achieve in the three or four days they can afford each year to go abroad. This year, they went to Cannes. Are you stressed? Stressed? Are you stressed? No. Are you stressed? No. Are you stressed? Nobody owns me except God. Get that in your heads. Nobody except God. Once in Cannes, they needed to get the most out of it. If you lay down, at least you better be at work on the computer. Cannes has become way too organized. It's hard to get the really hot stuff. Everybody gets desperate. That's when things go bad. I think it's not, not a very big festival. Ska vi kunna på stranden och ha lite lunch? Mm. Jag vill ha lite sand mellan mina tår. Det blir sol. We're gonna see where to go tonight and uh, we want to go to the Cavalli party. Uh, because some people they were interested in, in meeting are going to be there, like uh, Jude Law, for example. Boy George, Naomi Campbell, Patrick oh, Dempsey, Kirsten Dunst, Jenny Fonda, Jackson, 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 Jackson McJagger, Jude Law, Ian, Ian. Ian. Uh, Sean, Sean Penn, Penn. Uma Thurman. We want Paul. fashion parties and um, exclusive uh, film after parties, like um, private parties. Now we're gonna have a meeting with uh, Maxime, and he knows this town, he knows uh, the party people, and he's the guy you should be talking with when you wanna get out and get in. Yeah, get out and get in. Get out and get in. <laughs> hey, what's this camera? I want to film it. No. What's this? No. No. The man they are meeting, Maxim, works at a limousine service and drives a lot of the celebrities. 
He feeds the girls with inside information on the whereabouts of the celebrities. He's promised to help them into the Matinee's hotel, where most celebrities stay. Inside Martinez, uh, we were just having a blast. We had a drink and then we uh, went to the terrace. It looked nice because they had a pool and they had fruit and drinks and food. When the big party ended at Martinez, uh, me and Ines uh, took the back door. We uh, realized that there were a lot of um, paparazzi standing outside, like behind the back doors. There's a bunch of photographers out front. Yeah. And um, <laughs> we just, we have to pass them. That's it, you know? So Natalie and I took the back door out, trying to look like we were trying to sneak out of Martinez to hide from the photographers. <laughs> They just came running for us and they were screaming, Kate, 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 look here. And they thought that I was Kate Moss and we just ran into a car and, and left. It was funny. Counts more than anything else. That's the art of life, being a human being. But I feel okay. Yeah. It wasn't too late yesterday. No. The girls aren't satisfied with yesterday's events. They need information about more exclusive parties and the whereabouts of the celebrities. We're on our way to meet Carol. We're gonna have lunch. Yeah. She's our friend. She's a really nice woman. Yeah. She always helps us with the um, things we want to do. She's going to give us some information, very important information. Yeah, where the celebrities are. Well, yeah, and with the big parties. Yeah. Uh, things we want to know. But it's so nice you could come out and meet us today. Yes, well, so I mean, nice you must be so busy again. this week. It is, it is a very busy time because I have quite a few clients and yeah. everybody's demanding, as you know. Uh, we had lunch with Carol and um, she told us a bit about the Eden Rock party tonight. Eden Rock? Yeah, we're very, very anxious to, to, yeah, to get you, there, actually. The AIDS, the AIDS charity party. Yeah, the AIDS party. It's the place to be. Yeah. It, it's really the party of the year at the film festival. Yeah. And everybody who is everybody, the whole jury will be there, you know, Robert De Niro, Uma Thurman, Jude Law, Brad Pitt, Angelina Jolie. Sharon Stone is hosting this year. Yeah. Said it's the first time that we're having it there. So I don't know how near the cars will be allowed to get to it or the crowd. It's going to be quite hard to get in. Everybody's going to be there and all the photographers are going to be there. We're going. So we have some kind of plan. <laughs> yeah. yeah. The party at Eden Rock, that was an experience. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. So we got a car because we knew that we have to come in a car. You can't come walking, especially not on those heels. So we had a car, we had a driver, a very nice driver called David, who we actually kept for an entire week. I feel like a transvestite with these earrings. Oh. <laughs> and 
I don't think we're... Yeah, well, it's going to be fun to get there and, 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 and see the, uh, the spectacle. We didn't really know what what's going to happen. Um, det bästa är om vi säger att vi är lite sena, men... Pappa är där inne liksom. Min pappa är... Min pappa är där inne. Jag ska köpa en ny. Jag orkar inte. Jag är typ kissen och... Jag har fått kissa i den här klänningen. Nej men usch, usch. Åh gud vad mycket folk. Jag orkar inte. 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 Oj, oj, oj. When we came to the gates, um, the security guard looked inside the car and he saw us and kind of let us through. And we were very nervous actually there. Is that your number? Okay. Your name? Okay. After. So actually I was very nervous and I think Natalie was even more nervous because she was laughing uh, hysterically the entire time. It's gonna go after the number. Then we walked to the entrance, and of course the, there was a problem there. We didn't have a, the table number, we didn't have a, a personal ID that they were asking for. And that's when I think the paparazzis and the people in, in the, uh, behind the fence realized that we were not really celebrities, because when we were walking, the, our shoes were too large. So they were falling off, and the whole thing just looked like a scam. Uh, so that was, a, that was a walk of shame, for sure. shameful when we had to walk we could, with our shoes falling yeah. off but um, and almost trip After the unsuccessful attempt at the Eden Rock party, the girls decided to regroup with some friends. Were they aiming too high? Was it wrong to crash a charity event? What they didn't know then was that very soon things would turn in a way that they could never foresee. James, please don't do this now, okay? You can go to the with Natalie. Okay. When someone calls it out, it all happens in just a few seconds. No one stops to think. You're like a shark with a sense of blood. Then all these paparazzis came. It wasn't like that other night when, when we actually kind of planned it. And it was uh, quite scary. No, that wasn't our plan at all. Uh, they really thought that she was uh, Blake Lively, the gossip girl, and uh, that she was having an affair. We got our pictures on gossip blogs and tabloids. There's really no time to think. Man, they fooled us, though. Mm -hmm. 
So that was a success. But when we didn't plan it, with, and it happened anyway, it was a bit scary. And now when the festival is over, it feels a little bit sad that we have one night left. We had so much fun. Um, so... It's always sad to leave. You know, you have a very bittersweet feeling in the chest. Yeah, it is sad that it's over. But it's not over yet. That perfect place to shine and try. Cause you can't see the critical eye. The sky.